Yeah, it's a uh, it's a bit confusing. His first speaking role came when he was just 24 years old in the mystery romance past midnight. As a farmhand, we'd have to change this line where he screams, "Oh my god!" Yeah, you know, because then contextually. Well, well, then we can but, add in there if it's Marty Wolf. Paul Giamatti, the everyman actor known for his eclectic, speedy Hollywood producer who gives his comeuppance after stealing a kid's effort, plus has a shock and jock radio personality, Howard Stern. So ridiculously tired right now. Yeah. I feel like my brain is just, uh, it's like fried. You've just been working nonstop? Yeah, pretty much since Thursday. Yeah. I feel like we, we've gone so hard. Get... Get Killian ready for the Oscars, essentially. we might have to sit on for a hot second and just wait for... Yeah, there you go. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, so either posting Friday at 5 or like Sunday at 9 a.m. or something. Hats off to this magic team behind the show. If any of you met the boys in the park, let me know in the comments across all your social medias. And we've got some great new evolutions on our way. Be back. This is Davine Joy Randolph. Macaroni. Stop at mean. Be nice. Nice bunny. Be nice bunny. No. Although she's a What is the show? Exactly. It's really okay. I definitely feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. I'm trying to plan the stuff with Dan, and then we got Divine, we got Paul, we got Paul. Hold on one second, let me capture this real quick. Real quick walk, it's not raining that bad. Come on. You wanna, okay, you're leading me the way. He's in charge today. I am convinced working is a scam. I hate working, but I also really like working at the same time. I hate working when I have to do it, like when I have to do it to pay bills, holding for wind. Holding for wind. But at the same time, I enjoy the process of working. I like working. I like being productive. I'm turning away from the wind now. I can't stand the fact that I have to do it to pay bills. Look at all this crap here. That's what my brain feels like right now. After juggling three or four videos, maybe five videos in one week, trying to do a new YouTube channel, Dan's channel, the vlog, and then working as a freelancer for IMDb. It's too much. It's too much for any person to handle. Like this trash. Look at this trash right here. Working is trash. Working is a scam. Especially when you have to work for 
dumb people. You know, I wish I could just work and make the fun stuff that I want to make and not have to worry about bills. Really, bills are the problem. The bills and expensive cars. And mortgages. Those should be, those should be illegal. I just had to get out of the house, aka my office. Basically, I feel like I've been cooped up in there for a good four or five days. I miss the outside world the trashy outside world, especially this weird, dirty mall parking lot where people just come over here and sit in their cars for hours on end. I mean, I kind of, you know, I'm doing that too, and more or less I'm driving around filming things. I mean, you know what they're doing, right? We're all adults here. If you know, you know. I mean, technically, it's not illegal anymore in Maryland, so. The one thing I always found kind of goofy is the fact that there's so many office buildings now that are completely vacant still to this day. I mean, COVID really did a number on office buildings, but like, I feel like even before then, there was too many office buildings and not enough people working in them. Work is a scam, I'm telling you. This is a scam for realtors. This building has been newly renovated and now leasing for at least five years. It's like out of control. No joke. Every time I've driven by here, there's been the same number of cars in here. Like this parking lot's never full. It's always at most maybe 20 cars. So like, what are these buildings? This, these buildings are huge. And I swear to God, there's probably only like 50 people working in them. I'm gonna go in. I wanna see what's in this place. Oh wow, it's really nice in here. Farmers Insurance, Zentech Manufacturing, Epstein Baker. I mean, it's just a regular office building. This isn't nearly as exciting as I thought it would be. Still, that's way too big of an office building. We don't, it doesn't need to be this big. Like, I'm gonna say about 70% of that building is vacant. And it's been that way for as long as I can remember. You know, why don't we just like turn those into apartments or something? Low income apartments for people. There's like maybe 10 businesses in there. It's a nice building though, I will say that on the inside. It's very uh, clean at least, you know, boring as most of these buildings go. Luckily, I drive a fancy Tesla, so people be like, oh, he must, like, kind of know what he's doing or be important or at least have some bit of money. In actuality, uh, <laughs> I am, I ain't got no money. Ain't got no money. Ain't got no class. Ain't got no smarts, okay? Lacking in a lot of departments here. He's like, I got good hair, though. It's the one thing I got going for me. I have nice hair. What in the world is this building? This has got to be like a government building or something. It's way too many gates and fences. Oh yeah, that's a big government building right there. Federal Bureau of Investigation. I don't know what that is. These are all empty buildings back here. Empty. No business. Electrical room. That's not a business. That's just where electricity is stored. Empty. These are all empty. E, D, C, and B. Empty, empty, empty. Not that one. That's People Encouraging People, Inc. <laughs> what a name. In the world. Yep, see? Empty. Empty office building. 
There's not even a door to handle. There's no handle. Empty. There's just, I mean, it's total, total scam. Real estate working scam. So many empty buildings, so many just generic businesses. Right across from the Federal Bureau of Investigation building. These are all probably shell companies, you know? I've seen enough spy programs to understand what the FBI does. <clears throat> or maybe that's the CIA. It's the CIA. The CIA is just the one with the, they have more like sketchy kind of people. I mean, as usual, places for lease. I see that sign everywhere around here. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit of a maze back here and I don't know how to get back home. Oh. Hey, look, more places for lease, 65,000 square feet. No, doors are definitely locked. This thing is very broken. Good security camera over there. They probably got me on, on camera being like, what's he, what's this weirdo white boy doing? I guess this company just owns like every building over here. And so many of these buildings are completely empty. I'm in the wrong business. Maybe I should just, I gotta get into real estate for corporate offices. That's where all the money is apparently. Just wild. It's so wild how many office buildings are back here that are just taking up so much freaking space. Oh, 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 guess what? More space is available. Just so much corporate office wastage. What if I were to call up some of these numbers and just be like, listen, I'll give you like a hundred bucks a month and let me have this space to work in. Okay, just a hundred bucks. Cause right now you ain't getting no bucks. You're getting zero bucks. I'm gonna give you a hundred bucks a month. Okay, look, cause you got some more spaces over here and you're not doing anything with this. This is another, another building. You know, if I get caught, if I get caught by a security guard or something, they'll be like, what you doing here? I'm just gonna be honest with them. I'm be like, I'm, I'm making YouTube videos about uh, empty buildings. This is, Okay. It is empty. I can't get in. This is like that scene in the Blair Witch Project when the kids keep going further and further into the woods and they keep getting more lost and more scared. I feel like I'm going through that right now, but in like a corporate hell type of way. Another place for lease. One of these places has to be open, right? Oh, that looks cool on the inside. This entire thing is completely empty. What a waste, complete waste. The impact of higher rates and the banking stress is hurting smaller businesses across the country. Many of which can be summed up by a controversial new phrase, the urban doom loop. Here's how it all works. Early in the pandemic, a lot of office sector workers started working from home 
And here we are three years later, many of them are still working from home at least some of the time. All of that has led to a large reduction in the demand for office. We see a lot of companies downsizing. We see a lot of companies not renewing their leases at all and consolidating. And with this demand decline for office comes declines in the revenues for the owners of those offices and value declines in these offices. Declines in property values reduce property tax revenues for the city. The cities have to balance their budget. They now need to cut spending. That means less money for public safety, for sanitation, for transportation, for education. It makes the city a less attractive place to live. People migrate out, property values fall more, less money, more people moving out, and the city gets into an urban doom loop where its fiscal health spirals down. So banks are facing this deterioration in, in, in basically the credit quality on these commercial mortgages that they have on their books. So these smaller regional banks that have done a lot of local commercial real estate lending, they're now tightening the screws on the credit for the local non-real estate firms as well. That is sort of a traditional credit crunch. Commercial real estate is a very large asset class. There's about $5 trillion of commercial real estate out there. And whether you know it or not, you know, you, you're a uh, pension fund might very well have an exposure to commercial real estate directly or indirectly. So when I was here last time, this machine was broken, Yeah, yeah. but like they hadn't done anything about it. And so it just like kept me like, I kept playing for free over and over and over again. I got like over a thousand tickets from that machine <laughs> until someone finally saw me and caught on. I just kept playing and playing and playing. Todd's the uh, sugar daddy. Ooh, baby! <laughs> I'm gonna one-hand this. Whoa! Kobe! 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 Shaquille O'Neal! Larry Bird! Oh, I got it on Larry Bird. That's not good. Larry Bird! N uh... Uh... I got a bonus rack! A bonus rack! Oh, gosh! I gotta really focus. I gotta really focus this time. Todd and I are about to go downtown, baby. Go sleeves up a little bit. Sleeves, sleeves up. up. Roll the sleeves up. All right, well, that was a little bit of a redemption. I'm fine with that. I'm happy with that. 96, Todd. I'm gonna try to be a little Tom Brady, your boy. Those balls are so deflated. Yeah. Just like Tom's <laughs> balls. <laughs> Woo! Damn it! Hold on. Yeah. Ah, come on. 30! 30! He's under pressure. 30! First and goal! You're a starter. Dang it. You didn't make it. Well, this is main event. I don't know, what is this place? It's um, like bowling, Yeah, it's like games. bowling, food, games. I've been talking a lot on the vlog about overworking, and I went around and like was looking at all these old, uh, empty corporate buildings, like work offices, that are just, they can't fill them. Like they're all on lease. The leases are too expensive. I think there's gonna be a major financial crisis similar to 2008 because all these buildings are empty it's like 35 percent vacancy it used to be like 10 to 15. all right let's play some more games oh think i can get that go for it never had a shot or Batman. I do Batman. And surely you realize that any attempt to stop my invasion. I don't I think I'm just killing people. Is that what we're it seems like it oh, oh gosh. Oh I'm flying too. <laughs> I wrecked already. What? That game was not that good. Damn it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! 
Do I just keep going? Keep going. Oh. Son of a... How did I not score any? Drop the ball. Oh, now this, now the machine screws me now this time. Now it's like really broken. It's yeah. revenge. Try there. Right there? I think so, yeah. Oh! oh! How much is that? That's 50. 50 That's baby. pretty good. You could get a Luigi. How much is he? A Luigi. I do like the SpongeBob, though. That's pretty funny. Patrick. The prices here are kind of lame. Shelves are quite bare. You could buy this sorry game. This little Yoshi is like that's a thousand. That's a five and below. You can get that for like three cents. I mean, there ain't nothing here. Depressing. When I was here with my daughter, these shelves were a lot more full with many options. Instead of poo do, you cheat some flying poo. That's this is pretty much the only thing I'm seeing that's interesting. I don't know. I don't know. What would Sailor like? A Donkey Kong? No, of all the stuffed animals here, probably a My Little Pony. My Little Pony. Which My Little? This is a dragon. Yeah, that's Spike. You know them. Oh, I oh I know. Yeah, that's Spike. He's kind of. I mean. So he's kind is he of the, the bad slave boy? of the ponies. No, oh, he's, I mean, he's the like slave? the slave. Yeah. They have slaves. I mean, they don't call them slaves, but he pretty much does what everyone tells him to do. <laughs> he's kind of like a housekeeper. So. Oh no. What about this one? What's this white one? Rarity. She's kind of like a stuck-up one, all in the fashion and stuff like that. Oh, okay. What about this one? Pinkie Pie, my personal favorite. <laughs> She's crazy, but she makes sweets. That's her job. She bakes. She's she's the wild card in the bunch, which is why I like her. Yeah, wild cards are good. Right. What about the yellow one? Uh, Fluttershy. She's the shy one. Okay. She speaks to animals. Applejack. She lives on a farm. And does mm -hmm. farm stuff. It's like that might be it. We got the slave one. <laughs> we got the stuck up one. We got the farm girl. We got the sweet one. And we got the wild card one. Well. I learned a lot today. Yeah. More than I could ever. Wait a second, Todd. Wait a second. Look at this Pikachu. Mm. That's 13,000 points. Oh, here we go. Oh, here one. we go. Here we go. What's it's Rainbow one? Bright. Rainbow Bright. Uh, she's the fast one, impulsive one. She's always flying around. And there's no Twilight Sparkle, who's the leader of the bunch. And then we can move on to the Care Bears. Oh my god. Tom. I don't know anything about the Care Bear. Care Bears, there. Boom! Rainbow coming at you. 